And um, you might question yourself, uh, hyaluronic acid on the market, uh, stem cells within the, 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 the cytokare. So cytokare for me is the best media for cycle, um, starting in the periorbital area here. We will treat uh, all uh, crop fits here wrinkle, uh, doing superficial injection uh, within each of these wrinkles. And um, I also love to treat uh, this darkness of the t trough um, using cytokare. And uh, we could also inject these wrinkles from the, 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 the contraction of the nasalis muscle uh, on the nose uh, that could be injected. So we will treat for this uh, lady all periorbital area and then we will also inject um, the, the wrinkle on the neck uh, doing superficial uh, puncture injection uh, to treat these wrinkles. So as you know, these are um, multivitamins, amino acids, so it has to be repeated. Uh, it's not a one-shot treatment. So and this one is the new um, on the market is it is 18 milligram uh, with the 50 component uh, com rejuvenating complex and it comes in a 3 cc syringe with a 30 gauge needle so that's the one we will uh, use so please if you have any question on the floor in the audience you can just uh, make it interactive uh, it's better than, than Ask oh, at the okay. end. Yes. So, did you did you get all my my background about the the use of uh, this product with stem cells or? Yes. Can you hear me over there? Yeah, we we can hear you. Uh, for the product the pro uh, background, we have a little in information about that. About what? Sorry? No, the communication is still very bad. Oh, the communication is yeah, still very bad. We, we can see you in action, and once in a while there is a word we can understand, but that's about it. Oh, sorry. So, um, did you hear about my, my background on stem cells and the use of uh, cytokare as a media for my cells? Does everybody uh, understood this, or...? I think we missed a lot. Maybe you can repeat your stem cell experience. Yes. Oh, I, I told that um, I am working on, on in my research part uh, on adipose derived stem cells since uh, 2003. And, um, you know, to use stem cells in humans or in, uh, in animals for our experiment, we were looking for a media. A, an injectable media uh, where you can put your stem cells in. So in order to find the best one, I took all product on the market, cross-link hyaluronic acid, non-cross-link hyaluronic acid, uh, all uh, kind of skin boosters, mesotherapy, and we, we tested, we assessed the viability and the proliferation rate of, uh, of stem cells within each of these products, and that's how I was, fa how I, I I knew about Cytokare because that was the product which gives us the best rate for our for our stem cells proliferation. Okay, is this is this clear for uh, everybody? So, if if we understand you correctly, you have a medium which yeah. is filled with stem cells? Is that what you're injecting now? No, no, no. no. Here it's just the medium. Okay. But I, I tested this to, 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 to as a medium for my stem cells. When, when I do experimental study or when I do stem cells injection, cytokare was the best media. Okay. So if it is the best media for cell proliferation, in my opinion, it's good to be injected alone. You know what I mean? Because it's not, it, it's not cytotoxic for my cells, and um, it gives all nutriment to, to, to cells to, to for the proliferation. Now we can hear you very yes. well. Okay. What a relief. <laughs>
can, can, is it, do you want me to repeat everything or so so you're injecting a I'm in yeah I'm injecting a cytokine which is a, a, a comp which is non crossling hyaluronic acid uh, you have different concentration uh, and 50 rejuvenation complex uh, including amino acids vitamins and um, this is cytokine. This is the, the entity. But the way that I was introduced to cytokine, because I'm a plastic surgeon, so usually plastic surgeons in France um, are not using mesotherapy at all. I mean, this is... And the, the way that I was... I knew cytokine and I started working on cytokine, that was my research part on stem cells. You know what I mean? I tested this for grow for, for, for as a media for the proliferation of my cells, and that works the best on the market. That was the best product for the proliferation rate of stem cells. So that's why I do believe that you can use in a local injection this product, and that will increase the, the proliferation of, of your cells. So that will induce a biostimulation and uh, increase the, 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 the quality of your skin. Yes, we understand. It, that yes, now. okay. So Thank you. So uh, are you injection along each line? Or what can yes, you use? Yes, yes, yes. I am injecting in each line. So you can do small papula and just uh, press it. Or you can do linear injection for each of them. Can you see clearly? Yes, yes, we can. And do you do several treatment sessions or is Yes, one you yes. have to do several treatment sessions regarding the, 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 the importance of, of wrinkles. So I usually, uh, and you have different concentration of cytokine. So for younger, young ladies or young male, you can use the f 516 or uh, 502 or for elder one, you can use the 532, which is the highest concentration of, um, of hyaluronic acid. And I usually ask them to, to, to do um, every two weeks one injection for, for about two to three months, then uh, once a month, and then just I will see the patient every, every six months at my clinic to, to check um, the evolution. But that really changed the, the quality of the skin, the texture, the, the lightening. And um, I have a bunch of patients in my clinic, they, they come only for that, more for, for uh, cytokine injection than for, for volumizing, you know, product, hyaluronic acid or, or other kind of product. People come and ask for that because the, the, that really changed the, the texture of, of their skin. I see you're also injecting the very thin area of the... Of the, of the lower eyelid. Yeah, the lower yes, eyelid. We were yes. just discussing it before you came on, uh, on the screen. So you're pleased with the results there? Is there swelling afterwards? And so for sure you, you, you have some swelling. As soon as you touch the lower eyelid, um, the skin is very thin in this part. Um, you have some swelling. Um, but I am happy with that because this will disappear so you will not get any tendal effect because of the HA. But that will make your skin uh, thicker and that will inc improve the quality of your skin. So, and you know that a part of the problem here is the lose of the volume, but uh, it's also the quality of skin. The skin is very, very thin. So I am treated with full face injection. Anybody in the audience wants to pose a question? Yes, please. Sorry, I cannot hear the question. I would like to learn why you choose this uh, new S line, not the uh, 532 or uh, 516. 
Oh, uh, this what is... What changed? Uh, no, this is just the, the ergonomy of the product. Uh, you can use, you can still use the 532 or 516. Um, but this is already, you know, when you get it, it's ready to be injected. Uh, so it's, it's easier. You know what I mean? You don't have to do uh, any kind of manipulation by uh, pulling in your syringe. And uh, so this is ready to be used. Uh, so that's why I, I use this. But you can still, uh, you can keep working with, with the vial, with the 532 or 516. The product is, is the same. You know what I mean? It's, it's just the, 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 the form, the presentation will change. Any other question? Please, you can use the cannular to inject uh, this product? Yes, you can, but um, you know, as it is uh, mesotherapy and as your, your goal is to, to, to touch uh, the dermis and the epidermis to increase the quality. So this is a superficial injection. And uh, with cannula, you cannot do superficial injection. So theoretically, you can, yes, but it's not, it's not recommended because um, what you are looking for is, is to increase the, the, the dermis thickness and uh, the crosstalk between derm and, and so that's why um, I usually don't use cannula for, for meso. Can you see exactly what I'm doing here on the lower eyelid, eyelid cheek junction? So I, I, I do penetrate the, the, the skin superficially. I'm not touching the orbicularis muscle and then I push and I undermine the skin with my product. Can you see that? Yes, we can. So I'm really superficial in this area. You know, if, if I look from this angle to the eye that you just treated, it doesn't seem to be very swollen, the, the other eye. No, thanks no. God not. No, <laughs> you're a good injector. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, because you know, during workshops, uh, you have sometimes some surprise. So, no, no, she's not swelling a lot. That's good. So, I have injected this part. I have injected, I will put a little bit more here. No, it's okay, it's okay. Can you go very close to the lower eyelashes? Yes, you can. You can. You can. Yeah. You can. Because we are, yes. we have this magnifying view now with you know, the area just underneath the eyelashes. Yes. That seems Here. to need some product. Yes, 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 yes there. Yes. yes, you can. Okay. But um, then you will get more swelling and yeah. more uh, chemosis. But you can because this product will not stay. So you will not get any, any irregularities because of uh -huh. the, the HA. And uh, I, I have in my uh, in our animal studies, we have histology, uh, which shows you that you are increasing the, the the thickness of the dermis, and you are increasing you know the healing process, the the cicatrization process, and you all know that biostimulation starts by uh, with the cicatrization process. Okay, if it's okay for you, we are going to allow one last question. And then in the sake of time, I would like to propose to go to the next yes, okay. uh, demonstrator. Yeah, uh, doctor, did he use any topical anesthesia before doing this procedure? Yes, I usually use uh, topical lidocaine. Yeah. And she, had, she, she had lidocaine. But it's a tri it's a, it is a 30 gauge needle um, with, the, with the liquid product. So it's not 
really painful. Uh, and for neck, for neck area and the decollete, the cleavage, it, okay. it really works very well. I have few patients that I totally treated with six or eight injection, you know, several times, and now you don't have any wrinkle in this part. I mean, it's it's totally, it, it totally disappeared. Mm -hmm. I have another question. Yes, please. Uh, we most of the times around the eye area we combine the laser treatments. Yes, this uh, is good. So, is there a, a timing for you? What is your strategy about the timing uh, in combination with uh, this uh, non-crosslink hyaluronic acid? Yeah, and the this laser? is this is a good uh, question. I usually, um, personally, I don't I don't practice lasers, but I, I have a friend of mine. And I usually start by the laser. I usually start by the laser because of the um, uh, because of the ecchymosis that you can introduce with the with the injection. So then um, I also have this opinion that uh, injecting cytokine is uh, helping you to to heal. Uh, so I start by laser, or uh, some of my colleagues do peeling, and uh, then I do cytokine injection. Uh, in the in the same session, or no, you no, no, put no. one week in between? Yeah, one or two weeks. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think so for the time reason, we should move to another demonstration. Thank okay. you. Thank you.